So I'm not sure where I got the first idea from, but I know that I wanted to write about um, a really strong friendship between two girls because I think that's something that's so important to you when you're in your teens. And uh, it was something that um, I just felt that I wanted to explore. Um, and it is a kind of a mysterious book where you don't really find out what exactly has happened to Ellen um, until later on. So I obviously don't want to give anything away, but um, I did have the ending in my head at the start. And so in a way, everything was building towards that. It took me about three years to write the book, not because it's very long, it's quite a short book really, but um, it was just uh, the type of thing where I needed to keep coming back to it. I needed to leave it for a while and think about it and um, then come back and do a bit more. And I also did, I think it was five drafts before I actually sent it into the publisher. So um, it was quite a lot of work went into it. Definitely more like Maggie. Um, I think, especially as a teenager, I would have been definitely the law abiding sort and the kind who was always afraid of getting into trouble and if I ever did do anything stepping out of line which of course happens sometimes but I was always like I'm the one who's going to be caught so definitely I was more of a Maggie but I would have loved to be an Ellen and I um, always loved reading books about these larger than life sort of girls who are just full of confidence and don't care what anyone thinks and just want to have a good time so I think as a teen I would definitely have liked to be more like Ellen but I figured out it's actually okay to be a Maggie too. Well, I've been writing since I was seven or eight years old and uh, I did write a book as a teenager that never went, really went anywhere, but it was it was fun to write and it was good practice. Um, I had my first book published eight years ago, um, which is a completely different sort of book. It's a guide to planning your wedding. And after that, I moved into writing for children. Um, so I have one for younger children called Olana's Big Day. And this is a new venture again, writing for teens, so quite different. Um, I write at home on the kitchen table, I've got a bit of peace, um, sometimes go into the office and, and I write in the library, I write in cafes which I always find really good because there aren't as many distractions at home, I can always think oh maybe I'll just have a cup of tea first or whatever and in a cafe I just go and I bring my notebook and my pen and I've you know nothing else to do so I just have to write so it's a good way to cure writer's block and just make yourself sit down and do it.